From the Storm Team 8 Tracking Center, this is a winter weather alert. Well, it's dangerous on an area of roads, and we're also seeing some school cancellations already for tomorrow, so keep an eye on that. Here's a live look outside at South Haven, where we're still seeing some sustained winds out of the west-southwest at about 15 to 20. So if you've been hearing the wind all day, the good news is the wind is going to start to settle down a bit, and that's also going to be helping us on area roads. Because right now, if you're driving, not only are you seeing the snow, but you're also seeing the blowing snow. So if we lose the wind component a bit, that will help with things. Still, we are expecting even more accumulation. Here's a live look outside at Grand Rapids, and you can see it's slow going, even on some of the areas that are already plowed. Here's a live look outside at Grand Haven, and the visibility is very low. Tonight, we're going to watch something take place. We're going to see as the wind changes, and instead of it coming out of the west-southwest, bringing the snow winds of Holland and Grand Rapids all the way over through Ionia, we're going to start to see this northwesterly wind take over, and we're already beginning to see that on some of our maps. So as the wind changes, that's going to change who's most likely to see snow. It's going to happen over several hours that we see the wind change directions, so it's going to take a while for us to see how the snow follows. For now on Storm Track Live, still rough conditions across much of West Michigan, including Muskegon County, Ottawa County, and Kent County, as well as Northern Allegan. Here's what's going to take place as we go through tonight. Notice your future cast is picking up on this wind shift. So as we see the wind change, it's going to help to direct the snow into our lakeshore counties especially. But during that transition time, we can still see a nice burst of snow, especially south of Grand Rapids into spots like Kentwood and Byron Center and Wayland. Continuing on past midnight into 1 a.m., 2 a.m., we begin to see the snow adjust to how the wind has changed. So we'll likely start to see a lot of snow stacking up into spots like Ludington, Muskegon, Grand Haven, Holland, and even still some portions of Grand Rapids. Continuing past 8 a.m., we'll watch as the wind shifts even more so through the day on Thursday, and that's why some of our lakeshore areas, including Van Buren and Kalamazoo County, are now included in the winter storm warning. Wind chills are going to be affecting everyone. Already right now, we're on either side of zero. And if we look at storm total accumulation, what we're expecting here, including today's totals, all the way through Friday morning, it really looks like many locations are going to end up in the 6 to 12 inch range. And then some spots closer to the lakeshore between 12 to even 20 inches, there's a good chance that at least one spot is going to come out with 20 inches of snow out of this thing. So this is absolutely a big lake effect snow event. We've been waiting to see one take place for a while now. And if we look at your eight day forecast, you can see we're primed for more snow chances, especially next week. So Saturday, Sunday, we get a bit of a chance to dig out just a bit. And then Monday, Tuesday, get ready for more snow.